We're full speed toward WrestleMania. Everybody's engines are revving. Step on the gas. We are in WWE Fastlane. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 525 pounds, Rowan and the new Daniel Bryan. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. And introducing the champion so at a combined weight of 479 pounds. pounds. They are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. The Usos. No question about it. Jimmy and Jay Uso have single-handedly transformed the tag team division. You know, and if you ask them, what made the difference? What made you guys step up your game? Jimmy and Jay will tell you, it was the moment we decided to stop being what other people expected us to be and to start being who we are. And I'll tell you, he's been itching to get his hands on him here tonight. Of course he has, Michael. These guys despise each other. They want nothing more in life than to tear each other limb from limb. So that's what it's all about, the tag team titles. This is it, tag team action underway here, guys. And given how good the champs looked of late, there will be no room for error for the challenger here tonight. And what a reversal from Jay Uso. Setting it up. Nice neck breaker. Stomping. Ouch. Boom. Right across the small of the back. Impressive speed and strength from Jay. This is what he feeds off of. What technical prowess from Rowan. Wow, what a sequence. And finds a counter. Boom, nice. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division. And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here, the better their chances of winning will be. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. 
spinning kick to the gut. Dominating cross body. Hoping to make a tag here. And it sounds like there are a lot of people here tonight hoping for the exact same thing. Looks like we're going to get the tag. I think you're right, Michael. Oh, and he gets to his corner. That's a game changer right there. And it's Brian showing some agility. Jey Uso just barely getting out of the way with the quickness. Jimmy Uso tags in. For many years, the Usos have been considered the elite tag team in sports entertainment. On March 21st, 2017, Jay and his brother Jimmy added another trophy to their collection, the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. They're not only expanding the Anawaii family dynasty, they're building their own. Uh-oh. Setting him up. Uh-oh. Neck breaker. right there. That could dislocate your shoulder. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. Now taking control. Normally it's Daniel Bryan making people submit, but it's the other way around. How humiliating would this be for... Whoa, he, he works his way out. What a suplex. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. Tagged in. Superstars in pursuit of a title is awesome, but a tag team championship is twice as good. Some good action on tap here. Back now inside the ring. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy though, Michael. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. And he gets out of there in a hurry. Looks like he needs to regroup, get his thoughts together. Strong punch! Jarring. The challenger being outclassed here. Things have really gone from bad to worse for him here, guys. He's going to need to make a tag sooner rather than later. Daniel Bryan is used to being in this position, and it's usually where he's at his most dangerous. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. Jey Uso flowing on that day one inch. He is just dominant right now. Oh, goodness, that looked bad. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it all. Swings in momentum. Every push has been cut off. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. He's getting closer, Corey. And look at his partner. He wants in in the worst way. Able to get the tag. If Jey Uso hits this, this one's over. Super kick! Good night. The champion into the cover. A win like that says a lot about a duo. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Here are your winners. And still, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso. Big pinfall victory.
victory here tonight. It's hard to believe, but I think the champs might actually be getting better with each passing title defense. What an exciting match for the Tag Team Championship. Thank you for watching. Hey, it's a big stage for the top guys. It's exactly where top guys belong. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And he's for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 446 pounds, Dash Wilder. And Scott Dawson, the Revival! No nonsense, no gimmicks, no flips, just fists. Two men who proudly carry collective chips on their shoulders, and they've managed to use that, that bitterness to bring themselves to the big stage where it's their time to shine. Rough and tough as they come. Old school throwbacks. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 466 pounds. They are the Raw Tag Team Champions. The Viper Randy Orton and Matt Riddle. Too cool. Guys, the champs will have their hands full tonight in this title defense. And if they're not careful, it could very likely be their last title defense, if you know what I mean. On the line of the Tag Team Championships. Teams in their respective corners going over final strategies. All right, it's time to kick this thing off. And I've seen countless championship matches over the past few years, and this one ranks right up there with some of the most anticipated. I have to say, I feel like we are just one move away from claiming a winner in this one. One more move or one more misstep, either one can do it. Looking stunned, looking rocked. Ooh. Double axe handle smash. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Dash Wilder. There. Oh, look at the scoop slam. Ah, trampling the opposition. Oh, my. Down with authority. Now it's Dash Wilder on his heels. It's decision time, Cole. Does he try to get back on the offensive himself, or does he attempt to make a tag here? Suplex! 
Looking to make a much needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. Oh, he almost makes the tag. Yeah, but almost means absolutely nothing, Cole. Look at Saxton. He's almost tolerable. Doesn't mean he is, though. His partner must feel absolutely helpless right now. The only thing he can do is stand there and watch his guy get completely decimated. Well, they're usually... Riddle has him up. Oh, bro, Derek! A championship-level move. Things just went from bad to worse for Dash Wilder. Strike punch! Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? thought that was it, Cole. There he goes, crashing to the floor. See here. Hung up on the second row. Nasty attack to the neck. Orton looking on his game right now. Back suplex. Struggling to get to the corner here. Why not make it, Michael? Randy Orton has found an answer here. Orton showing why he's the apex predator. And here comes Orton. Boom! He skips away, living to fight another day. here. Hung up on the second rope. Uh-oh. German suplex. The quick reversal there by Rick. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in a tag team battle. There just may be no stopping these champions. Not when they continue to look this impressive. These teams really put it all out on the line in this tag title match. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.
the socially awkward Nikki Cross. No wonder Saxton likes Nikki so much. What are you trying to say? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. Yeah, I tried to talk to Nikki earlier today, ask her about the matchup tonight, and her eyes got really wide and she just started screaming at the top of her lungs. Hey, I'm surprised you even just tried to talk to her. I'm a journalist, Byron. I'm a former war correspondent. Nikki Cross doesn't scare me. Speak for yourself. Yeah, maybe she does. Nikki Cross, though, no doubt she'll have many championship reigns in her future. I have it on good authority that even though she was born and raised in Scotland, the Scottish government was actually happy to get her out of the country because she's wacky. One of the toughest women around, Rhea Ripley. She has all the potential in the world. And her partner from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. I planned to speak with Rhea Ripley earlier today, but as soon as... Now let me guess, she ignored you. Well, she saw me heading her direction, and she gave me a glare that forced me to turn in the other direction. As if I weren't already a Rhea Ripley fan, that would have totally solidified it. Rhea Ripley, of course, one of the most intimidating women on the roster, and not just because she made Byron afraid to do his job. I had the opportunity to call her matches during the second Mae Young Classic, and the pleasure she took in dominating her opponents was truly unsettling. Well, guess what? This business isn't for the faint of heart, and Rhea Ripley is a superstar who clearly understands that better than others. And their opponents, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, Doom! Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. This rivalry these women have been locked in, guys. Michael, there's no doubt that it's been about as impassioned a rivalry as we've seen in a very long time. Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. It's all about the women's tag titles. And Byron, what have you heard from the champions? Wait, wait, wait. You're asking Saxton that question? You do realize that none of the female superstars talk to Byron, let alone two of them. Uh, hey, I hear things. Uh, maybe not directly, but I hear them. And from my opinion, the champions are coming into this match possibly underestimating their competition just a little bit. We're reaching a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Here's Nia Jax with some offense of her own. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Ah, oh, she's not looking good here. The first thing she needs to do is somehow get out of that corner. Nia using that size and power to her advantage. She's taking command of the situation. 
masterful maneuver by Nikki Cross. Gets the tag. the tag. Axe handle finds the mark. Backslide driver! You know what they call that? Something no one would ever do to me. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. by Nia Jax. Nice right hand. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. She's fighting hard and it is paying off. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Interesting. There's... We're gonna make the tag here. A tag at this point can change the whole complexion of this match, Michael. No, they stop her from getting to her corner. Gonna be tough to win this match now. Drop kick. Beautiful. Toss to the outside. What an elbow drop. That's how you wear down your opponent. Two, three. Back in from the floor. Absolutely has to make a tag here. Yeah, but that's easier said than done, Michael. Failed on the tag attempt. Ooh. Heavy duty right hand. Ah, look at this. Spinning arm breaker. Drunk it with precision. Turns it around. There! That was vicious. Somehow has to find a way to make a tag here. Completely agree. Getting the partner in here is absolutely vital. They cut her off. And I can't stress enough how important it was for her to make the tag there. Ari is ready here. This is about over. I love this. She has to do is capitalize. Oh man, Nia Jax doesn't even know where she is. Ah, look at this. Spinning arm breaker. Drop kick. Tagged in. Gonna see here. Hung up on the second row. Neck 
Breaker. She's forced onto the defensive now. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. Nikki Cross. Oh, this is not going to be good for her opponent. Oh, she's so good. Fisherman's neck breaker. Cover. Two count. They did it. Wow. What a match. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. decisive pinfall victory. I don't think she's ever looked more dominant. And that's exactly the type of action we've come to expect when the tag titles are on the line. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Cole, may I have the honors? Thanks. Here comes the Beast Slam. So very comfortable on the big stage. Rollins truly excels in these high pressure situations. Byron Seth Rollins once had one of the greatest moments in pay-per-view history at WrestleMania when he cashed in the Money in the Bank contract to win the title. Yeah, just one example to prove Seth Rollins, no stranger to controversy, no stranger to setbacks, and no stranger to remaining in the top tier of WWE superstars. Seth Rollins, despite his litany of accomplishments, is never content to rest. Too much is never enough.
Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Well, guys, the champ is certainly going to have his hands full tonight. Yeah, but I don't think he's too concerned, Cole. He's used to a higher level of competition. This is just another day at the office for the champ. Introducing the challenger from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! And introducing the champion from New York, New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Damian Price. 45 years of history behind that, the United States Championship. The WWE United States title is on the line, a title with so much history. Well, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans, as some have. Hey, it's the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. Now watch this. Down with the vertical suplex. What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's gonna have to shift it into another gear. Oh, blasted him over the top. What grace, float over into the DDT. One of the things I love about Seth Rollins is he enters every match with a strategy. It's part of what makes the architect such an intimidating opponent. But what happens when that plan doesn't come together? How can Rollins improvise in the moment? Well, Seth's been put on the back foot before when things didn't go his way, but he's an experienced superstar with a diverse moveset that he can tap into. Following up on that, Corey, your plan A is only as good as plans B and C. And I think the architect might have strategies all the way to Z. Elbow drop! Seth Rollins in some trouble here. He planned for this and could still rally. Oh my goodness, what an impactful STO! There's a big reversal by Seth Rollins. How good is Seth Rollins? To the outside, which will start the referee's count. Whoa. Look at this. Northern Three. Light suplex. Three. Picture perfect drop kick. Seth Rollins is feeling it right now. Oh, nice offense from Seth Rollins. The King Slayer is rolling. Five. Six. Seven. Larian. Oh, stomping away. That certainly wasn't pretty. Got him where he wants him. Up and delivering the suplex. 
Seth Rollins got out of there in the nick of time. They should count his lucky stars. He has him right where he wants him. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. Indeed! I think the champ's got it. Oh, oh. no, Seth covered by the champ. One, two, three. How does he keep doing this? How did he do that? First with a waistlock takedown. The challenger is in some big trouble. He's totally out of it. Nobody's home upstairs. Yeah, all the architect's designs seem to be going astray. Gotta figure out a new plan quick. executing on his plan perfectly, just producing an onslaught. Oh, man! What a nasty STO. Oh, good night. Sorry. to amaze me. Flipping the script on him there. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Face first with a waist lock takedown. Boom! <laughs> Seth Rollins finds a way out. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Really just laying it in. He's 
in trouble. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. Indeed! The champ will stay champ. So much brutality with that move tonight. Let's take another look at these guys in action. an impressive win right there and that's how you defend a championship ladies and gentlemen you must fight like your life depends on it and that's exactly what we saw here tonight what a spectacular championship match it was ladies and gentlemen thanks for joining us The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. The ominous man from Amsterdam. The ominous man from Amsterdam. Black emerged from the darkness just long enough to knock someone's head clean off. Former kickboxer. Able to keep his composure in the most intense situations. That's what makes Aleister Black so dangerous. Yeah, a man who went undefeated in one-on-one -on -one competition for an entire year before winning the NXT Championship. Just an incredible presence when Aleister Black enters his battleground.
on the big stage. Here comes Shin. The eclectic Shinsuke. What a career this man has had in such a short time. Corey, this man has taken WWE by storm. You're absolutely right. Since this, quote, change in attitude from Shinsuke, some people have called it some sort of psychological downward spiral. I think it's been an emotional ascent leading Nakamura straight to the top. Well, that ascent has made Nakamura one of the most dangerous superstars in all of WWE simply because you never know what he's going to do next. Confusing, charismatic, and dangerous as the day is long. Introducing the challenger from Amsterdam, Netherlands. Weighing in at 215 pounds, Alistair Black. And introducing the champion from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion. He is the artist known as Shinsuke Nakamura! Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. The WWE Intercontinental title online. Perhaps a new chapter will be written in this championship's long history. For over 40 years, the WWE's best have competed for this title. Winning the Intercontinental title has been a major milestone in some Hall of Fame careers, and well, it could be just that again here tonight. How much longer can these superstars continue to fend off defeat? Every obstacle's been met with equal measures of tenacity. It's gonna take a lot to close this one out. Aleister Black is known as the Dutch Destroyer for a reason. He's a dangerous man and his strikes are vicious. The best thing to do to take him out is to avoid his strikes at all costs and then strike when the opportunity presents itself. Otherwise, it's just a few seconds until you fade to black. Shinsuke Nakamura with a nice reversal. Oh, oh running knee lift. This building is rocking right now. Can you blame him? Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Uh-oh, nothing good happens out here. Nakamura has him off. Back suplex! Whoa. Two! Hammerlock! Uh-oh, uh-oh! Three! Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Kick right to the body. Oh. Into the axe kick! Oh. A bad place to be for the challenger. He's getting beaten up out there, but staying strong. Oh, and it's Black turning the tables. Back now inside the ring. Nakamura. Inverted power slam. Wow.
He's calling for it. The end is near. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Now that is why they're the champ. Can Aleister Black stay in this after that? Here's Nakamura with some offense of his own. of his own. If I was Shinsuke, I'd rein in the antics a little bit. Eight. Drop kick hits the mark. Hammer lock. Uh-oh, uh-oh.
Got to wonder what his strategy is here, Cole. He's lining him up.
Nakamura. Hits the inverted power slam. Looking for the finish. Here we go. Nakamura setting up. Into the pin attempt. Two. Now Shinsuke Nakamura can carry the championship home once again. That's an incredible victory and a hard-fought one at that for this superstar. Yeah, much deserved. What incredible matchup. We Apparently this superstar isn't done either. No, not at all. The official trying to back the superstar away. But... Enough, enough. You proved your point. And here comes the monster among men. The Limitless One. The path doesn't matter. Here's where it counts. Here is where it's settled. The prize is on the line.
You'll have to forgive me for the lack of information on this title, but I have heard that it's highly coveted. Well, my sources sent me a VHS tape of this title's greatest matches, and there were some all-time classics. Really? Okay, can I borrow that tape, Corey? Absolutely not, Saxon. I'd be doing a disservice to my sources. Feed off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. Nothing fancy here. Oh. Backbreaker. Time backbreaker. Boo, what impact! Oh, the monster among men. Look at the power! What a toss! Dreaded claw to the oh, shoulder, man. Guys, just look at Braun Strowman. Where do you even begin with your strategy against the monster among men? Two words, Cole. Run and hide. If that fails, you need to evade and strike when you get the chance because you do not want to get caught by those hands. We often talk about worst-case scenarios. When it comes to Braun Strowman, every scenario is worst case. Overhand right lands. Ah, bear hug. Look at the power. Strowman with nowhere to go. Can Strowman make it out of this? Good oh, God. Really just laying it in. What a throw. He's looking a little weary now. Things are not looking good for him right now. Saw that one coming. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Braun Strowman. Shoulder tackle. It was tossed. She get airline miles for that. Strowman. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. Look at Braun Strowman stalking him. Braun has him up. Ooh, Braun takes him down. That might just do He can do it here. Braun Strowman wins. Braun Strowman wins. Unfortunately for Braun's opponent, as you can see, he got those hands. Here is your winner, Braun Strowman! There's plenty of reason for celebration tonight. Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. It's all about wins and losses. And it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. I'd like to think we just saw the greatest. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. On the big stage, 
Here's Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan came from that hole known as New Jersey and now finds herself on the big stage in WWE. What an unbelievable turn of events. Yeah, but the thing about Liv Morgan, Corey, is she's Jersey tough. There's no doubt about that. Successful career coming in WWE. ever women's hell in a cell match against Sasha Banks. An amazing Iron Man match as well. Charlotte has accomplished it all in such a short period of time. Multi-time champion, history maker, Record setter, legend in the making. Introducing the challenger from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. And introducing the champion from the Queen City, the Raw Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. The women's champion posted on social media today, nothing makes me happier than decimating whoever dares approach the peak of my mountain. Strong foreshadowing words for her opponent. Well, it might be unfortunate then that her challenger possesses the ability to move mountains and might shove the champ clean off the top. Oh, look at that. Scoop slam! Oh, foot just stomping down. Liv Morgan just barely got out of the way. The challenger eating up some damage. She can withstand the punishment, though. A long way down. Setting up for the T-bone. Head crank. Charlotte Flair's natural ability in the ring is second to none. And you can imagine that's going to be an integral part of her winning this match. Absolutely, Byron. The Queen wasn't just born into this business. She was born into greatness. And she'll no doubt show that tonight. But she'd be smart not to just focus on her athleticism, but also implement some power moves. If there's one thing people underestimate about Charlotte, it's her power game. Charlotte made her pay for her mistake there. Man, by the hair, hair whip. Ooh, what a slap. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, here we go. The challenger is not in a great place. She may have underestimated the opposition she faced tonight. From the apron. Oh, and a double axe handle. Incredible height. Setting up for the team Everyone Six. must bow to the queen, especially her opponent. Seven. Big time clothesline. Things have gotten worse for Liv Morgan. She could be out of this match. Yeah, this could be the end of the run for her. Charlotte is taking control of this match. And here comes Charlotte. Kick right to the midsection. I think we know what's coming up next, Michael. Indeed we do. Natural selection. One, two. Kick out at two. Oh, that may have been a slow count. Wow. Not the off. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Ah. Liv Morgan just It's over. Oh man, by the hair. Hair whip. Big boots. Jeez. The queen is looking to put this thing away. Charlotte Flair can taste the victory moments away. It's only a matter of time here. Victory. Yeah, big win. Wait a minute. Boy, this match is over. Thank <laughs> you.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. It's boss time, making history again. And here comes Sasha. It's always a treat to see Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has her own swag. She's got her own confidence, and she knows how to back it up. If there's a camera around, Sasha wants to be in front of it. If there's a spotlight out, she wants to be in the middle of it. Sasha Banks once stood in line for the opening of a refrigerator. And here comes the man. One of the trailblazers in the women's evolution, part of the four horsewomen. A young lady who is proud of herself on being different. A young lady who is proud of herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Introducing the challenger from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. And introducing the champion from Dublin, Ireland, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. We're about to see which woman rules the landscape around here. The women's champion posted on social media today, nothing makes me happier than decimating whoever dares approach the peak of my mountain. Strong foreshadowing words for her opponent. Well, it might be unfortunate then that her challenger possesses the ability to move mountains and might shove the champ clean off the top. And now it's Sasha Banks. And here's Becky Lynch. There's Sasha Banks now with the chin lock. Very well applied rear chin lock, solid offense from Sasha. Look at the determination. Look at the desire. Both superstars will not stop fighting. Well, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch know each other so well. Neither of them will give in. Becky Lynch going for it. There's the boss. Boss maintaining an advantage. Wow, Sasha Banks gets the reversal. Ooh, calf kick on the mark. Sasha Banks avoids major damage there. She got lucky. That won't just separate your shoulder, that'll divorce it. Great reflexes. Stomping. Ouch. Got uh -oh. the arm. Systematic attack on the arm from Becky. And she heads to the floor. Probably looking to take a few deep breaths. Think about her next move. But Sasha Banks pulls off the counter. 
Set up. There it is. Shining wizard. Gosh. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Becky's got the arm trapped. What a slam. Oh my God, it, these women are longtime rivals, but Byron, this is not the Becky Lynch that Sasha has faced in the past. Not at all, the man is who came through tonight. Becky Lynch has levels of confidence, aggression, and fire that we have never seen before. And neither has the boss. A bad place to be for the challenger. She needs to turn the tide here. Great display of strength with the suplex. Becky with a takedown, looking for the disarmor. Can she cinch it in? Disarmor! It's gotta be over! I can't believe she's hanging on this long. She's got a tap. No escape. Oh. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. Knees to the gut. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Nice calf kick, great elevation. Got uh -oh. the arm. Ooh, Becky just aggressively going after that arm. Sasha Banks avoids major damage there. She got lucky. Becky Lynch is really going to work in there. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Becky Lynch. Disarmor. It's got to be over. This is not. She's out. She escapes the hole. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. Hooked up. Suplex. Wow, that won't separate your shoulder, that'll divorce it. Systematic attack on the arm from Becky. Jumping arm breaker. Becky Lynch. Exploder suplex. Suplex. Becky Lynch is looking for the ending. Oh, there it is. To Get to the ropes, forcing the break. Nine, two, three. And Becky Lynch remains champion. Becky Lynch taking in the moment as we look back at what unfolded. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. 
And the boss goes down with a loss at the hands of the man, Becky Lynch, with a huge win over Sasha Banks. Banks gave it her all, but nothing could stop the hail of offense from Lynch. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It's the best kept secret. I can respect the major strides that Buddy Murphy has made lately, but even with all his success, he seems so bitter. Saxton, when you're left out of the conversation for as long as Murphy was, the wound will never heal. It's already brought him title glory, headlines in his home country, and a prime spot on the main roster. Deny the secret and you'll only make it stronger. You want to talk about a guy that's grabbed the brass ring? You talk about Buddy Murphy. He was lost in the weeds of NXT after losing the tag titles, made a drastic weight cut to jump to 205 Live, and from there won the Cruiserweight title in his home country of Australia. Here it is, the WWE World Heavyweight title match we've all been waiting for. And I assure you, Michael, this match will be well worth the wait. Trust me. Now let's not underestimate just how much pressure is on the champ here tonight. Yeah, that's right, Cole. There are some whispers out there that claim he's a weak champion, but a win here tonight would certainly silence those whispers.
Introducing the challenger from Melbourne, Australia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Buddy Murphy! And introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Roman Reigns! The big gold belt up for grabs here tonight. The World Heavyweight Champion is ready to defend his ground. I don't think I see an ounce of doubt in the champion. He absolutely believes he's leaving tonight with his title, Byron. Well, it would be hard to argue with him, Michael. I could tell by the way he entered the arena today that he was in a different kind of zone. The type of zone that only champions go to. Oh my goodness, crushing it! What's this? Absolutely planet. Amazing reflexes on display. Snapmare. Incoming! Roman Reigns is out to prove everyone else in WWE is a failure. Jumping clothesline! What agility! Big open hand strike. Ooh, ah, knee left. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. Nice amateur takedown. Buddy Murphy calls himself the unstoppable. He has the size, speed, aggressiveness, and intelligence to back that up. How do you even compete against a superstar like that? You're right, Michael. He does have all those things. But the key to beating Murphy is to refuse to play his game. Refuse to let him get into your head, especially when he starts to get desperate. Look at Murphy. Does he look like a desperate man? Absolutely not. But you can't go into a match against Murphy without being a little cautious. You gotta stay on him, never giving him any room to breathe. Producing a trampling. Oh, kick right to the gut. What a forearm. In the corner now. Oh, he knew that was coming. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Got uh -oh. the off. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Oh, God, that hurt. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Yeah, he's being torn apart in there. Reigns connects with a clothesline. Huge overhead belly to belly. Got the all. Uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it. down the opponent. Elusive movement there. Good buster. Oh, Roman Reigns saw that one coming. All the way over. Saw what he had in mind there. Boom, what impact! Jumping 
clothesline by the big dog. Reigns ready to strike. this rivalry, I don't know what will. Here is Roman Reigns in position now. There! These superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the time... What a title defense by Roman Reigns. Big fight, big dog, big story. The superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, I kind of did too. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. Oh, WWE Universe! Don't you dare be sour! Clap for your longest reigning tag champs and feel the power! Yeah, ha, ha. Time to hop aboard the positivity bus, gentlemen. One thing can't be denied. On the big stage, Big E has a great track record and does his best work. Corey, why aren't you clapping? Because I cannot stand this. This is ridiculous. Cut. Like someone threw up unicorn glitter all over WWE. So, okay, we get it, we get it. You're a Debbie Downer. Get it, Big E. Nice to see you've been studying your third grade book of insults, Byron Saxton. Bobby Lashley.
One of the most impressive athletes ever to step foot in a WWE ring. A successful mixed martial artist. Lashley is finally back where he belongs in WWE. Well, to that point, Corey, this is a man and Bobby Lashley who spent 10 years away from WWE, but he came back because he felt like he had unfinished business. He felt like he had more he wanted to accomplish, and so far, Bobby Lashley is on the track to do just that. Introducing the challenger from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E! And introducing the champion from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, the almighty Bobby Lashley! This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting with bated breath. The Universal Championship, it doesn't get bigger than this. Universal champion always carries a lot of distractions, a lot of responsibilities to worry about. The champ needs not worry about anything else than what's in front of him. He knows what a capable, dangerous competitor his challenger is. No doubt if the champ is off his game, they may be removing the nameplates off the Universal title. As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? You can't even allow that notion to creep into your head. You have come too far and fought too hard to grow weak now. Check out Big E's offense. Hip drop. I've been waiting to see that. Oh, man, that hurt the back. Spine rattling. Look out. Exploder suplex. The champ trying to roll with these hits. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Oh, what a forearm. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. I'm backbreaker. Looking at the strength of Lashley, you wouldn't think he's the kind of competitor who would employ distraction tactics in matches, and yet that has become his calling card. Well, Lashley maintains a long list of unlikely allies to aid him in his matches. Any one of them could appear to help him turn the tide. Big E is really feeling it now. from above. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Bobby Lashley able to counter beautifully. Tough spot to be in. Big E with the excellent move to get out. Scoop slam. Ooh, well measured. Lashley just barely got out of the way. On the move. Oh. oh! Oh! Incredible elevation from the big man. Here we go. Biggie is setting up. The powerhouse of the new day has his opponent up. Biggie with a big ending. Here's the pin title. Walking out with a lot more clout in the WWE than he walked in with. This is why Big E puts the power in power of positivity.
Here is your winner and the new WWE Universal Champion, Big E. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. Well, the challenger simply refused to be denied, and now we are looking at a new champion. Unbelievable. Guys, I've literally got chills after watching that thrilling championship match.